What is good, friends? We are here with Marshall. Was this Tofu, however, as a pond is called? I don't know their names, but I know it's for SPL Week 6 DPP. As they both lead with a new queen, so this is gonna be fun. Um, let me just see. Yeah, they were supposed to play Saturday. Super Marshall was just tough, yeah. I don't know why I said Tofu. Oh, nice Earthquake. I thought. So they run Earthquake in Gen 4. Is Earth Power not a thing in Gen 4? So those Earthquake didn't do that much, so I assume that those are both defensive Nido Queens. Learn Nido Queen. Earth Power. Nido Queen can gen. Uh, yeah, it can learn off on Gen 7, but I want to know if it can learn off on Gen 4. So, I'm wondering what ground immunity these guys would have in the back. Give a is not a ground immunity, but if a pardon eats that at 5. So, Skull is not a thing in Gen 4. But this is what run then. Do they run toxic? Good god, I'm about to fall asleep. I'm so tired. Um, the Finchinator versus Zomo game is in 20 minutes. So I gotta stay up. I gotta stay up. Nope. No sleep for me. So he has a Clefable. So he has like some bulky. Yeah, he has a bulkier team with a Dragonite. So it looks like some balance of bulky ovens. I don't think Dragonite can break the party in that well. So he just goes back to Clef. And the wish comes out. Clefable might just throw off a knockoff. If he's the standard set that I saw used in DPP twice, that runs um, knockoff. Softball, Seismic Toss? Yeah, that's the knockoff. Then the last move was either T Wave or something else. Um, I think there's another game going on for Little Cup. Yeah, um, I might get into Little Cup too, but I'm watching this one now. That one guy called himself CUB uh, Junior. So yeah, it's the standard set knockoff seismic test. And the yeah, Nidoking King doesn't even threaten Club Fable well, because... It's not fairy type in its gen, so... Sludge Rave or whatever Poison Jab, whatever the new Queen might have, is not super effective. So the Black Sludge got knocked off, but it got back the Wish, so it's at full, and now the Heatwing came in on a Seismic Toss. As the stomach has revealed, Rocks to run with, with our left this is interesting. I don't think Scarf turn with Rocks is a thing. Kinda curious what the item would be. Oof, T Wave Starmie is here. Um, yeah, this might run. Probably wish protect in a water move. I don't think it would run. Oh, nice pivot to Rotom on the spin. That's a really nice play. Um, I don't think Vaporeon has space to run protect actually on the set. Wish, wish raw. And then if it gets healable, maybe healable and a water move. If it doesn't get healable, maybe a water move and protect. Maybe a water move and toxic. Not sure about that. But so it has raw he has raw needle queen, box train, and he's a spin blocker. So he might have uh, something with spikes like a skarmory or what else gets spikes in gen 4? Roserade? Yeah he might have a Roserade. Goes needle queen on a hydro pump. I don't know why. Um maybe predicting a trick. Actually I get this play. Maybe predicting a trick. Because if he went into Clefable there, and he got tricked by Scarf Rotom, Scarf Rotom is like a common spin blocker, I think. Like I've, I know a little bit about DPP now since I've been watching a bit. And if he went into Clefable and he got tricked the Black Sludge, actually he wouldn't take damage, but he would have been. Now nah, he would have gotten tricked a Scarf, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. 
I was uh, mixing things up there. The Rotom would have gotten uh, Black Sludge Trick, not the Clefable. If you went for Trick on the incoming Nidal Queen. So then the Rotom would take damage every time. Which is why he might have made that play. But instead, that boy predicted that. that or he, I don't know if he predicted it, but he just fired off a Hydro Pump. Knowing that uh, he might predict the Electric move or the Trick. I mean, yeah, either Electric move or Trick Nidal Queen's works in both scenarios, even though Trick would still cripple the Nidal Queen. Hard Lucario on Seismic Toss. This is like... Interesting, he has like so many ground weeks and only Rotom so far that is... That has Levitate. That did a shit on hey crit, that sucks. So, what Lucario would this be? I don't think it's... It's obviously not Life Hope, I don't think it's Bandit. Bandit might have just killed. Because it was a crit. Yeah, let me, let me know if you guys like the quality, if you can see any difference. I'm using OBS for the third time. But yeah, I will probably upload the finished game that is after this, before this one. Because I'm getting out the Sun, Moon or Auras games. I want to get that Sun, Moon or game out before this one. I also got up the Trolls Go match immediately after it happened, which was really cool. So yeah, OBS basically makes this possible. Well, he stayed in. He didn't really care if he got. He predicted. Um, Toph predicted him. Predicted Marshall to predict the E speed, I assume. This guy's get, this guy's get E speed in Gen 4, right? I'm not going insane. He gets up to rocks. It's really hard to concentrate when you're so tired. God. <clears throat> I mean, he lost his Volt Switch switch, and so he can just. You can basically just fire for T-Bolt or Volt Switch. Um, Volt Switch came out in Gen 5. I didn't. I, I did not say that. I know Volt Switch is not a thing in Gen 4. So yeah, but what I must meant to say, he could just click an electric move there. I'm pretty sure Volt Switch came out in Gen 5. So yeah, just forget that I said Gen 4. Volt Switch, yeah, came out Gen 5. Exactly. I checked that before in a, in a black and white game a few weeks ago. I remember. I mean, it's looking pretty good for Toph. That Hyrule Pump play on the Nidal Queen and that um, close combat, the Stami on the Stami again when I went into Skarm was like a really nice play. Even though the crit on Stami sucked. Like without the crit on Stami, I don't know if the same situation. Like if he would have switched out the Stami without the crit, so that kind of mattered in that sense. I don't know if it's game deciding though. So it is cheese by Nidal Queen. Yeah, like I said, kind of a headed sticking team. This Ron by Powerion makes sense. I don't know if he would have Roswell in the last with regular spikes, probably probably not. Um Man, someone my Skype my phone just went insane and caught someone on Skype, so I had to close that. Mm. So the Needle Queen doesn't beat the cliff at all. Does he okay get up the second layer, so I don't know why he went get up a second layer. We don't know the last one yet, but G-Specs do nothing versus these three versus these three monsters. He gets a poison touch. Which also doesn't matter because Clefable has a magic guard. So I guess he just his plan is sack off this and bring in Lucario and fire off a close combat, because that's hard to switch into. Lucario is at like 50 59 after rocks, something like that. Yeah, that talking about the little cup game that's going on in the chat. I don't want to record two games at the same time. Also, I have no idea about little cup. Like, I'm not DPP pro, I'm not black and white pro, but I know something at least about those tiers. Uh, yeah, little cup. Um, I might record little cup in the future for you guys. Yeah, I don't know. I think he should just bring a little car. I guess I don't know his last one. Yeah, some of you guys told me they would like to see a little cup. I might see if I can get someone with knowledge for that tier, because I would rather have someone with knowledge than just not know what I'm talking about. So yeah, what I was saying earlier, um, do you guys see a difference? It's still 720p, I didn't, I was not able to find out how to upload in 1080. I think my computer is too bad for it. I probably already mentioned that before. I don't remember. 
But yeah, do you guys see a difference between this now and if you compare this to my older videos, if you go back, just go back to a video that's a few days old, can you see the difference? I think it's a little bit better with OBS compared to Camtasia. But yeah, let's just let me know in the comments if you like it or if I should go back to the other recording program if you like that better. Ah, he just fires off the close combat. I don't know why it took him so long to make that play. You just close combat again here, right? Yep. That's unnecessary crit. Um, yeah, the only thing is my voice was a little bit too loud earlier, so I had to put that down in the settings with OBS. OBS is a bit weird. I was playing around with that for hours. So this might be it's probably scarf nape. I mean nape you neutrally naturally outspeeds the carrier. But does it actually might would that be Scarf Lucario? I don't I don't think it would be Scarf Lucario. So does he not have U-turn on this ape? Maybe he's special inferno but it's like HP eyes. I guess he can yeah he can just fire off a knockoff, but doesn't Lucario have justified? I don't know if it has justified in Gen 4, but in general it has justified, so like knocking off was a bit risky. Because that could give the Lucario a boost. I don't know if that's how it worked in Gen 4, but that's how it works in like New agents as he tried a T with the switch in there, but he just stayed in with the Vaporeon, he didn't care. Yeah, this looks so bad for Marshall, like, I don't see how he wins. That Archwitch is shit ton, and he gets a full para, so we don't know if this has Ice Beam. This might have Ice Beam and the water move. It doesn't necessarily have to be, as he tried to go for Protect there, so okay. Protect and water move, I don't think it would run Ice Beam. It might still, but I don't think no water stab is a thing. But yeah, it might be, I don't know. Why is the chat going so wild? They're watching the Little Cup game. They're going super wild. He said, easiest play of my life, CB Junior. But yeah, let's not get into that. That was savage though, but I'm watching this game, so we'll focus on this. Ice Punch Lucari, so. I'm um, actually not sure if this is Scarf Lucario. I never heard of that or never saw that set, but for some reason I'm thinking it might be Scarf. See, the ape is, the ape is physical. I, or is it mixed? I don't get why he didn't u turn earlier. Maybe. He, hmm. Not too sure why he didn't u turn. He probably doesn't have it, or he was predicting some something. I don't know. Yeah, I have to play around a bit with the settings for OBS. Like. My voice might be too low now since I made it lower. But yeah, earlier, earlier was way too loud. Um, it's nice to see that this game will be finished before the Finchnator game, which is in seven minutes. And um, they're going so wild about the little cup match. Good God, maybe I should have recorded that instead. Yeah, just just a free table, I guess. I mean, he could have had a bomb too. He just didn't want to miss that situation. I mean. If he scarf rode him, he outspeeds this anyway. The only way he, the neighbor outsped it is if it scarfed too and it was locked into close combat. So T-Bolt there was a pl fine play. And GG eats some tofu tonight. So he had scarf and Fernip. And scarf rode him, I assume. Fabulous doesn't kill him. Torf takes the win. Um, 3 and oh, we don't even know his last one. Would be nice to know his last one. I'm kind of curious to, as to what is going on in the little cup match. The shit, the, the chat is going so wild, dude. Oh, Zamak vs. Finch started. Um, thank you for watching. I gotta call someone real quick. Bye. Uh, see you later.